calm out there. The sunrise looks so nice out there. Yeah, absolutely. And a little bit cooler than the past couple of days. Oh, you guys, so much better. Yeah, the last couple of nights have been pretty miserable when it comes to sleeping without air conditioning and things like that. This morning, I can't tell you how much, and if you already, you probably already know <laughs> how much it feels so much better. 67 in Burlington, 65 in Plattsburgh, 65 in Messina, 60 in Lebanon, 61 in Keene, and plenty of places down into the 50s. This is the difference compared to 24 hours ago, anywhere from 5 to 15 degrees cooler. And it's not just the temperature change. Obviously, that helps, but the dew points here, that humidity level, level, that moisture level in the air is so much lower, too. So, for example, yesterday we had dew points in the low 70s. There was red all over this map. This morning it's in blue, and dew points are in the 50s, so not nearly as much humidity, so so much more comfortable as you step out this morning. Those quiet conditions also helping with that really nice sunrise and just a few clouds broken up here or there. We do have a hot day here ahead of us. Uh, not too bad in the northern New York, New York area. You're going to be near 79 in Malone. Low 80s for Plattsburgh and Shazy, right around 87, though, in Ticonderoga. And those warm temperatures in the low and mid 80s for northern Vermont, not hard to find. 82, in fact, for so 85 in Middlebury and Highgate, 84 in South Hero. Southern Vermont and New Hampshire, you guys, quite toasty, close to that 90 mark once again later this afternoon. Some sun, we're going to find plenty of it, but it will be in interrupted by some broken clouds and a few scattered thunderstorms too. Most of these waiting until about midday to start maybe showing some scattered showers and I'd say mid afternoon through the evening hours is when you're going to find a few downpours. The lightning could be an issue with a couple of these little cells. Nothing widespread. Coverage is limited, but do watch out for them. You don't want to get caught off guard by a few of those that'll be rolling through in the afternoon and evening hours and probably even a few of them overnight. Tomorrow morning, quiet, just some broken clouds, and once again, some scattered showers and a few thunderstorms for the second part of your Thursday. Temperatures just a little bit cooler, though. I think Friday may be a spot shower, but other than that, it's quiet and very comfortable and seasonable for Friday afternoon. Humidity isn't a huge issue by then, and it's going to be in the low 80s. 85, very comfortable and nice and bright for Saturday, a gorgeous first half of the weekend. Sunday, though, it gets sticky again. Humidity rises with some showers and a few of those thunderstorms linger into Monday.